James 1, 4, But let patience have her perfect work, that ye may be perfect and entire, wanting nothing. Patience means so much more than waiting to open your gifts until Christmas or your birthday. It is also the ability to deal with difficult situations without losing control of your emotions. Patience controls the temper in aggravating situations. It never seeks revenge, and it avoids violence and harsh and angry words. Patience doesn't panic in fearful situations, but knows how to endure the fear and wait for the right time and way to act. Patience endures grief and hardship. It knows how to go through those things without giving up. Patience gives people another chance and allows them the opportunity to change. Patience has great strength. It knows how to keep trying and keep working until the goal is met, no matter what obstacles get in the way. Patience doesn't fight against God or godly authority. It knows that when God says no, that is what he means, and if he isn't obeyed, regret will follow. It also knows that if he says to wait, that he has a good reason for it. The Bible has a lot to say about God's patience. Sometimes people confuse that patience with tolerance, but they are two very different things. To tolerate something is to allow it, even though it is bad or wrong, without trying to change it. Let me be clear about this. God does not tolerate anything. He patiently gives people one chance after another to turn from sin and follow him, but he does not tolerate sin. The very essence of God is the power of change, not that he himself changes, but that he is constantly actively at work to make changes. He works miracles, humbles the proud, strengthens the weak, inspires godliness in people, and gives wisdom to those who ask him for it. He does all these things and more, all to change us, his people, his creation, into what he created us to be. So when he gives people another chance to do that, that is not tolerance, it is patience. Even so, God will not patiently wait for sinners to repent forever. He will judge sin in due time. Are you ready for that day? If you are not, or you are not so sure, then you can turn from your sin and ask Jesus into your heart right now with this simple prayer. Dear Jesus, I believe that you died on the cross for my sins and that you rose again the third day. Please forgive me for my sins and come into my heart and be Lord of my life. Help me overcome sin in my life and live for you, so I will have joy when I see your glory. In Jesus' name, amen. If you are interested in Emmanuel by April Marie, you can check it out at any of these websites. Thank you for listening. May you grow in godly patience.